An update now to a story we first brought you last night. A Buffalo man has been arraigned on murder charges. Police say 25-year-old Abdul Hussein is accused of shooting his co-worker, a 62-year-old man inside Sears Food Enterprise that's at Broadway near Sears Street. This happened yesterday afternoon. It was around 3.30 when it happened, and now some disturbing video of the shooting is showing up on social media. Join your sides, Andy Payton has that story for us tonight. Andy? Scott and Mary Alice, just a few hours ago, this video was uploaded to Facebook showing that fatal shooting you just mentioned. Buffalo PD tells to on your side this was not meant to be shared with the public, and we do want to give a warning to our viewers that the video is quite graphic. Tonight, a horrific murder caught on camera and shared on social media for the whole world to see. The video grabbing the attentions of thousands, showing 25-year-old Abdul Hussein allegedly shooting his co-worker in the head. The user claiming to have posted it as a warning to the general public, and despite receiving mixed reactions from the public tonight, he's standing by his decision to post it. I think it would be very hard to justify what good comes of Facebook posting a video of a homicide. After being up for three hours, Two On Your Side reached out to Facebook about the video and its violent content. Now the social media giant has placed the video behind a sensitive content warning that when expanded states that the video does not go against their standards. Tonight, Facebook tells Two On Your Side in a statement that the social media platform only, quote, removes videos and photos that show the violent death of someone when a family member requests its removal. How is Facebook vetting? who is a direct relative of anybody in the United States or abroad. Um, that, that's a pretty wide-ranging statement to make, and how do they vet that? I don't think, as a parent, I would want my children stumbling across this, or a teenager, or really anybody else for that matter. So what good comes of showing this type of content? Experts believe that this content could have bigger implications like influencing a jury in trial. Hussein is scheduled to return to court Monday for a felony hearing. Reporting in the studio tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.